Hey friends, how's it going? How are we doing today? So, this week we are back with the next installment of um, my favorite rides at said Walt Disney World Park. And this week we are doing Hollywood Studios. So, just as a recap, refresh, me and my husband went to Walt Disney World in 20, to October 2023 for our honeymoon. And we went to Hollywood Studios on our second full park day. So, <clears throat> really in no particular order, let's get started. So, um, the first ride I'm going to talk going to talk about is alien swirling saucers um i it may, it might have been like one of my least favorite favorite rides that i did like it's down there but it's still a really good ride i really love spinny rides um so it did the job it needed to do it was super fun i loved it i loved the theming um and I would do again. Now, would I do it if there was like a super, super long line? Probably not. But if there was like an okay line or a super short line, I would totally like hop on in that line and do it. And but and also at, on the same wavelength, I wouldn't get a lightning lane for it or Genie Plus, if that tells you anything. Next up is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This was. A really good ride good ride it was like medium tier for me um I really enjoyed it I loved the tracklessness of it because it is on a it's a trackless ride um and like it was really immersive and I really enjoyed it um yeah <laughs> next is Toy Story Mania this is probably goes along with um right around the same here, I guess as alien swirling saucers it was really good I loved it I tried to beat my husband I couldn't for some reason when we go back soon hopefully I am totally gonna try to beat him again and hopefully I will we'll see um but yeah like alien swirling saucers if there was a really super long line I wouldn't get in line for it but if it was like an average to like super short line of course I would because it is really fun um <clears throat> for um toy story mania and alien swirling saucers those are both really good kid rides in my opinion next up is star wars rise of the resistance now this one surprised me because like i like star wars yes um but i'm not that much of a diehard star wars fan my husband is uh, so we went on this ride mainly for him we i woke up at 6 55 in the morning joined the queue at 7 a.m um and all that fun stuff i personally didn't really want to go on the ride i was like i don't know if it's worth the hype but if you remember what i said in my animal kingdom video i like to judge things and then end up really liking them so with that being said it was pretty cool um i really liked all of the elements of it i liked how interactive it was um it was worth the wait uh and my husband like his mind like exploded when he saw it so that for that fact alone it was well worth it uh next up is rock and roller coaster funny story so like I said in my Animal Kingdom video, which will be linked down below, probably, um, I am not a roller coaster girly. I don't like roller coasters. I, I have a fear of heights, so they just, they're too high for me. Like, it's scary. Like, the worst part is the part when you're, like, going up, like, slowly and then you like go over the hill like the rest of it fine whatever because it's pretty fast but that part when you can just like look down and you can see and you feel like you're like falling back like I don't like that part um <clears throat> and I was terrified because Rock and Roller Coaster is the only roller coaster on Disneyland property or Disney World property that goes upside down 
and so I was terrified. I was a nervous wreck in the line. The line took so long, so it delayed, it like extended my anxiety of this ride, and I purely went on it because um, my wonderful, wonderful, lovely husband had done everything that I wanted to do that day, and we had only done one ride that he wanted to do purely because of my fear. Like, he wanted to do, um, um, Hollywood Tower of Terror. I, I, I said absolutely not. Like, I'm, like, that was too scary for me, in my opinion. Like, no, I don't. That's not my vibe. Like, I felt so bad. But he's like, what about Rock and Roller Coaster? I was like, fine. We'll do it. And that ended up being one of my f most favorite rides of the day. Like, I think that was probably the last ride of the day that we did, and it was one of my favorites. It was, like, top two. Um, and it was really good, and I can't recommend it enough. Like I said in my last video, I'm a Disney roller coaster girly, not a real life roller coaster girly. <clears throat> and then last but not least, well, again, it's this one's in my top two of my favorite rides of the day. Um, and it's Slinky Dog Dash. Now, this ride, this was the only ride I absolutely had to do that day. Like, I wanted to rope drop it. I did not get to rope drop it, unfortunately. And that was not my fault. It was also, it was not the cast member's fault. Um, rides have a mind of their own. Um, but it was down for maintenance for a good chunk of, not a good chunk, like a quarter of the morning, like a little, little, little bit. Um, we got two rides done in the time that, um, I guess it, it didn't, we got two rides done and then we immediately join the line for Slinky Dog because while it was not running there was a line and I was like we better get in line now because it's gonna get real long real fast and I'm so glad we did because once it did start moving we got in rather quickly we probably waited maybe like 10 minutes once Slinky Dog did start running but we waited longer while we were waiting for it to start and like the cheers that you heard when they started testing the roller coaster, so like when they sent the uh, the train without any people, it was unmatched. Um, but I really liked it. My husband, on the other hand, I think he liked it. It just didn't like thrill him like he wanted it to, because he is a roller coaster boy. He loves roller coasters. Like I feel so bad when it's just me and him when we go to like amusement parks because. He always goes by himself, and I feel so bad about that. Um, but yeah, and I'm like, well, you have to keep in mind, it was mean for kids, I feel like. Like, it was, it's like, it, they wanted to cater to everybody. They wanted to cater, cater to kids, to teens, to adults, to everyone, just to make them all happy. So, like, it's not going to be, like, something you find at Cedar Point. Um, but yeah, I loved Slinky Dog Dash. Love, love, loved it. And I can't wait to go back to write it to hopefully rock rope drop it this time um but hopefully i get to go back soon so that was my video i hope you enjoyed let me know your favorite rides in hollywood studios down below um did i say any of your favorite ones let me know uh if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe because i post new videos every single friday at four and i hope to you enjoy your weekend and your week ahead and i also hope to see your beautiful faces next week bye guys